one of the things that will be very exciting for audiences is really one, how distinct all of these characters are from one another and watching how each of them deals with different situations and deals with stress in their own unique way. Surviving is a choice. The good escape rooms are really cinematic and you go into a Cold War bunker and you, you're rooting through you know, a, a CIA dossiers and you're opening maps and you hit a, hit a, hit a button and suddenly another a projector that was hidden turns on a blue light and suddenly you see a map. And so they're really well art directed. And uh, so I saw the potential for a really visual uh, film in that capacity. And, um, and then the idea of strangers being thrust into this crazy environment and having to work together and we don't quite know why they're put in, why they're brought together was a, was a really cool idea. Surviving is a choice. I can't think of a time where you get to see all these psychological elements. And what's really, really cool about it is, is, is there's no, it's, it's a mind, it's literally a mind game the entire time. You have to be using your brain when you're in, in each one of these rooms. And the minute you don't, is, is every minute you don't use it is the minute that's <laughs> a closer minute, you know, to losing your life. You know, it's, it's a minute you're losing um, to, to them because ultimately the people who have locked us in here, like they want us to run out of time. They want us to die one by one. And so you're constantly trying to figure out what's right, what's wrong, where you can step, where you can't step, what's actually the way out versus what's not the way out. And it's just a distraction. Um, and, and in that, you know, you get to see each of these characters kind of go back to almost just instinct, just survival instinct, what it means to survive and how they're each going to survive, whether that is as a group, whether it's alliances and some people decide to work together and some don't. Surviving is a choice. Uh, in the film is um, Army Infantry. Um, she has a purple heart from being wounded in action uh, from an IED explosion. Um, it's traumatic because everyone else uh, died except for her, and so there's survival guilt. There's also the, um, the ongoing trauma that, that lives with her. And um, part of what you'll realize as you watch the film is that a lot of these rooms are set up very specifically to trigger these different characters, trigger their, their trauma. Um, so Amanda very quickly is sort of the first victim to that. Surviving is a choice. Adam is an encyclopedia uh, of, of, of movies, of shots, of lines, of camera angles, of lighting, of scenes. I mean, he literally can, if you say a movie, he can go, oh, and then that one shot where this happened and that happened and the director did this thing and then the actor did that thing. And it's great because it's, it's, it's a way to talk to us sometimes, you know? If, if I'm not fully sure what he's saying or I don't understand something, he can explain it literally like, did you see this? Oh, it's similar to that. You didn't see that? Or how about this? And that's been really amazing. Um, and I think also because of that, you know, Adams, he knows what he wants. You know, we're, we're not here just like, oh, I think maybe this today or maybe that. I don't really know. What do you think? He's very specific in the shots that he wants and how he wants this movie to look. And that's been really great. Surviving is a choice.